Well, you can certainly put me in that pile, uh, Ian. As you know, I've broken down on the air in a couple of interviews with you, as a matter of fact. When, uh, when the tension would get so high, I would be so uncentered, uh, confused, uh, in dismay, in disarray. Uh, and you know what? I needed someone like you, and I'm sure you're the same way, where you need others too. When we get to those kinds of places, and, and like you say, I believe we are certainly going to be tested. I know I am. Uh, that yes, even though it is an individual thing and we need to stay within our power, do you also uh, suggest, Ian, that uh, we uh, try to develop a community as well? Yes. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> the Mayan calendar, which is what I'm basically all about, discusses that there are days and there are nights to the progression of consciousness. The days are openings of consciousness, new revelations. The nights are always times to apply what has just been learned, what has just been realized. It's during these nights that birds of a, fl of a feather are to flock together. That is, the, the people who have realizations are to apply what they have now learned. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, boy, easier said than done, I guess you could say. Um, my goodness, uh, to apply what we have learned. Yes. <sighs> you know, Ian, I, I, yes, of course I agree with that. But, you know, like with anything, whether it be a new job, uh, learning a new program on the computer... Uh, learning uh, uh, some type of new technique in the studios for me, even though I've learned it, it's when it comes to those first applications that are so difficult. Uh, what do you think? What are your suggestions about that? Well, th they are the most difficult times. And we are currently in the third night of the galactic cycle. We just have had revelation after revelation of truth about our actual situation. Our actual situation, to, to most of the people out there listening, your situation is you now understand yourself as a slave to corporations. <laughs> Please don't get me started! But yes, of course. It, it, it's coming more and more clear that that is the fact. Now, our illustrious leader, Mr. Bush, is totally on the side of the corporations. And all of the people listening out there, other than those employed uh, as, as bugs to the corporation, all of them are feeling the effects of that devotion of corporation over personal freedoms. Uh, and folks, let me, let me, oh my goodness, looky here. Uh, we just broke another record. Ian, thank you. Uh, I'm sure in part that has very much to do with it, you, with you being on the air. And of course, it has, it's a reflection of the times itself. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much for making Earth Changes TV, uh, your number one rated science, uh, Earth science and space weather site. And now making it one of the most popular shows in the nation re related to what we do. We've just broken another record into the number of attendants. Uh, thank you so much. Now, let me get back to Ian. What I wanted to say, uh, what, you're gonna, what you're hearing Ian's, Ian say now is not a political statement, folks. Believe me, him and I have uh, engaged in conversations many, many times. He's getting ready to fold this back into Mayan calendar and Mayan prophecy. So he's basically setting the stage now, but do not listen to this through the ears of, of uh, uh, political assumptions. Listen to it in the way of civilization and where we're going. Uh, Ian, please. There is a schedule of, of consciousness. Consciousness includes government and it, its direction. Consciousness d is what directs the actions of those who are uh, supposedly in charge of civilizations, as well as every individual within a civilization. And consciousness is dictating 
that there are going to be massive changes in our social and political situations during the next 300 days. Oh, really? Now, that's interesting that you say, well, gee, I'm acting as if I'm so surprised. Uh, Ian, if you don't mind, I'd like to jump right into some of these things, because I know a lot of the uh, listeners right now have tuned in, in part due to what Carlos Barrios had to say. Oh, yeah. His, his time frame was the exact same thing. He didn't... Sp- he may have specified 300 days. I, I don't even I don't recall. I'll have to listen to the interview again myself. But he, what what I do remember is that he simply said this year, and since we're in January, uh, certainly wouldn't be more than 340 days. Right. Well, here we go. All right, here we go, folks. <sighs> the last time that we were in this segment of consciousness was the period between 1854 and 1873. The consciousness which is now playing was happening between 1854 and 1873. That was the third night of the planetary cycle. That was the cycle that that preceded the one that we're currently in. On January 5th, 1999, we started a new cycle. We are now in the third night of that cycle, corresponding with 1853, I mean 1854 to 83. What uh, happened... I'm sorry, Ian, can, can you give us... Uh, do you have written down uh, any, uh, some events that occurred back in uh, 18... Uh, back in, those, in that time frame, 1854, was it? Well, the most important for the, our listeners in America was that in 1861, April 12th, Fort Sumner came under attack. In other words, the Civil War of the American states started in oh 1861. Now, just not that long ago, I had a, a, a realization And that realization was that a day on the Mayan calendar during during this current cycle is 360 days. 360 days equals one day on the Mayan calendar. Now, if you were to superimpose that on a clock face, then a clock measures the day in 24 hours. That is from 12 midnight to 12 noon and back to 12 midnight. Yes. That is actually two revolutions, 360 degrees, but we can superimpose the, the, the procession of consciousness now onto a 360-degree arc. And we can calculate how many days there are to each hour on that clock. Each hour from 12 o'clock midnight until 1 o'clock in the morning, or to 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, takes 15 days. 15 times 24 equals 360. Okay, so a 24-hour period period equals one year. Uh, on this Mayan calendar, it equals one day of 360 days. Gotcha. Okay? Okay. So <clears throat> now we can look back over past periods and see what happened during that same hour on the clock. For instance, 1861... Uh, uh, of during the previous cycle happens on April 3rd of cycle. We can, su- we can project or superimpose them. What happened in, on April 12th of 18th now eyes to April 23rd, 2004. Uh, are you referring to a civil war? Yes, I am. Oh, my goodness. 
Absolutely. 